In this video, we'll walk through the initial setup of Synchro. Start Synchro by double-clicking on the icon on your desktop. Synchro will open to the welcome screen. Here you can create or open a project, find links to Synchro's online resources, and access the help within Synchro to get more information about a particular feature. The Equipment Library link takes you to our website where you can download the latest equipment model files. Selecting the Gantt tab at the bottom of the welcome panel with a left mouse click displays the Gantt chart. Select this red Task Properties icon or press Control right bracket on your keyboard to open the Task Properties datasets on the right of the screen. Also docked on the right are Resource Properties, 3D Properties, and the 3D Path Editor. You can change the Gantt view by selecting the View Ribbon, Gantt Mode. Select WBS. In this set of tutorials, we will use a Microsoft Project XML file formatted in work breakdown structure, but schedules that you import may be structured via activity codes or a list. Place the cursor in the top of the 3D window so the double arrow icon appears. Left click with the mouse, hold down, and drag the 3D window up. All windows within Synchro can be adjusted by this method. You can also drag the titles of the columns and move them to suit your layout preferences. The columns here are automatically included in the task list, but you can customize the columns by right-clicking the blue heading field of the task list and selecting Customize Columns. Expand Task Parameters. Select 3D in Available Columns and move it into the selected column by clicking the single arrow button. This will create an extra column which will show you how many 3D resources have been assigned to each task. You can also rename any of the columns and change their order. Select OK to accept the changes. If you accidentally close any of the different windows, you can reopen them by selecting the appropriate icon from the Windows ribbon. You can reset your Synchro workspace to the default settings by selecting the View ribbon, Layout, Reset Layout. This also resets other presentation settings at the same time. 